Hi everyone, it's me Leslie here with another video. Thank you so much for watching my video and thank you so much for subscribing. Today I'm doing a story time discussion to talk about loving ourselves even when it's difficult. Loving ourselves even when it feels like everything is working against us. Loving ourselves for who we are. So recently I was going through plastic surgery videos and articles because I'm a tutor and I like to um, make my curriculum based on current events. So this past week I was doing a topic on plastic surgery. And what I noticed by watching a lot of these snippets was that a client will come in, they'll say what they hate about themselves when it's truly just cosmetic. Um, just, just, I don't like this, please fix. I noticed that the client will come in, I hate this about myself, and the plastic surgeon will say, yeah, sure, let me take care of that for you. We can do that. So in most of the videos I watched, that was the general dynamic. And what made me so sad about these videos um, is that most of these people going in to see a plastic surgery, surgeon looked absolutely fine and healthy. And a part of me felt angry, felt angry with the plastic surgeon. Even though I know that's their job, I feel like there should be some kind of like therapy that takes place before going under the knife and and changing your body forever it sometimes to me just feels like that person just needed a friend that said hey you're, you're absolutely gorgeous or your your ears are unique and and that's what i love about you or your nose is so cute i i, I love i love your nose makes you makes you more noticeable in a crowd i don't know i just a part of me just feels like some of these people just truly needed needed a kind word. And of course it wasn't gonna come from the plastic surgeon. So today I actually just want to do um, something with you all. Uh, several years ago, I worked in Indonesia as an English as a second language teacher. And while I was there, I was going through some serious life struggles and events. And while I was there, I learned how to meditate. And I also started to do some self-reflection. And I did my self-reflection by looking in my dresser mirror that was like on the door. There was this long mirror and I could stare and I could look at myself fully on this mirror. And in the mornings, I began to just sit cross-legged on my bed, look in the mirror, and acknowledge things that I felt uncomfortable with. So most notably, I acknowledged that I had a couple gray hairs coming in and I had a decision to make. Was I going to dye my gray hair or was I going to just let it be there and, and let it be known that I was getting older. And then I realized there was a larger discussion that I needed to have with myself. And that discussion was one day I'm going to die. And that was a life changing moment for me there because before then my whole life I was afraid of death until I actually started meditating and taking a serious look at myself in the mirror and humanizing myself. And I believe that a lot of us need this work. A lot of us need to take a step back and truly start looking at ourselves in the mirror and truly begin to start loving ourselves for who we are today and who we're becoming. And if we don't like what we see, 
change our lifestyle, change our, our diet, change, change our environment. But if we just don't like what we see because we don't, we think we're worthless, then that's also a reason to start truly doing some self-reflection and figure out what we need to do to love ourselves. And oftentimes when I, I start feeling bad about myself and woe is me, which happens um, enough, because <laughs> I, I still do this work, I still self-reflect. And by self-reflection, I'm saying, taking a deeper look at who we are, who, who we've become. Do we love what we've become? And I'm not talking about just the way we look. Far from it. I'm talking about, can we look in the mirror and honestly say that we are doing the best we can to be, to be the best person that we can be for ourselves and others? And so oftentimes when I do my self-reflection, I will literally <laughs> take a time out, ask my husband to watch our daughter and and I'll go to the back room and I'll sit on the bed and I'll pull this mirror out. I, I got this mirror when I was living in Indonesia. Um, and I'll pull this handheld mirror out. And I'll physically look at myself. Straight, square the face. Because if we don't truly love ourselves, who will? If we don't fully accept ourselves, who will? That plastic surgeon's not going to tell us that we're perfect just the way we are. You're far from it. Maybe they'll even mention a couple other things that need tweaking to, to, for their own financial gain. And sometimes it's hard to look at ourselves in the mirror. And truly look ourselves in the eyes and say, I see you. I love you. I see that you look tired. I see that you look stressed. But I see you and I love you. I love everything about you. And every day you work hard to be a better person. And that's admirable. And I love you. And I think you're good enough. And I believe you're beautiful. And that's all that truly matters. When our society makes us feel like we are never going to be good enough, that's the time to take a step back and try to get some quiet time and look at ourselves in the mirror and say, you're good enough. I love you. You are enough. You are, you are beautiful, regardless of what any, anyone else says. And that's all that really matters, is what we believe about ourselves. And when we know every day we are taking steps to be a better human being for ourselves and others, that is enough. And that truly makes us beautiful people, inside and out, regardless of what anyone else says. I love you. I won't betray you. When out here we, be, we feel betrayed, 
we, we do our best not to betray ourselves and stick to the morals and principles and ethics that we believe are the right ones. And, and we can control this. And it's true. We are good enough. And if today you're not feeling, you're not feeling it and you're not feeling good enough, try this exercise that I just did. And hopefully by the end of it, something will change within you. And you will, will feel that, that you are enough. So that's where I'll end it today. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you feel like it, leave a comment. I always love reading the comments. And until next time, bye.